hello there welcome to this tutorial on spring mbc so i have covered some of the features of the spring mbc in my last couple of videos so if you have not seen those video please check those also so this video is about spring mbc form validation so spring mbc provides lots of form validation support for user so validations are like when the user want to check the particular field if it is a it has a particular size if it is not null it should be it is a mandatory field or email should be correct so there are a lot of validation so in this video i am covering three validation minimum max and size so the minimum will check for the minimum value of the field and max will check the max value of the field and size is an annotation there we actually uh, put the minimum and max values so let's do it let's open spring tool suite so let's create a controller for customer so let's say we have a customer who want to register to this application so as, as I have explained in my last videos that I'm going to create e-commerce application so uh, so let's create a customer first customer Pojo class so let's add some fields Uh, like username okay and let's add a password and let's add the setter and getter for these fields okay okay select the username okay so now to validate this these two fields we can use size annotation and in size the size will come from java dot uh, java x dot xml validation package so that we need to import so we can use this dependency for that that is oig hibernate validator so we have to import this we need to add this into pom.xml file so let's do that okay so now now we have the dependency so it is building still okay so let's import the package yep so here let's check for the minimum value first so let's give the minimum value as 2 so this field should have a minimum value so here we can pass the message to user that the username size not less than or not more than or should be not less than 2 okay so so it should be a message to user okay so let's keep a message here okay it is a minimum so let's add same property to password also so pass password size not less than 2 ok so our pojo class is now ready so let's create a controller to test it so let's do that so let's create a controller here so it should be customer controller and let's move this class to model package ok 
okay so to make it controller we need to use a controller annotation as I explained my last videos so let's put the controller annotation here and we need to create two method get for get and for post so let's create the get first so we, we need to add request mapping and give the value as register and method so by default the method is get so we don't need to give method name okay so let's create a method public wide register and here we need to pass model okay so let's import this okay we need to put the annotation here okay so here from here so this is a get mappings so this will be called when the first time the our page is requested so we need to pass the model attribute from here okay so let's do that so this should return a string so string should be our JSP name so let's keep register as a JSP name and we need to add model attribute as add attribute customer and here we need to give new customer okay so let's import this yep okay so so let's create the post mapping also so this as I explained my last couple of video that uh, this model attribute is required to map the form parameter at the UI so in the post mapping we don't need model attribute so just add a method here ok ok so it should be request request method dot post ok so so this is a post mapping so uh, here we need to get the model attribute from the UI so let's, let's use model attribute annotation model attribute so it should be customer customer and so to uh, validate this model attribute we need to use valid annotation so let's add it here okay so so here we need to use valid annotation So this is also from Java dot validation. So this valid valid annotation will validate this particular customer uh, object uh, that uh, that the model attribute whatever the form values we are passing from the UI. So this will validate using this valid annotation. Uh, we we can validate it. Okay. So now. we need to use binding result here
so this pending result class is used to check for the error so if there is uh, any error then then we can uh, we can pass the error message to the UI so let's import this first binding request so binding request class have a method to check the error so it has has error method so if it is if there is an an error so it will return true so in that case we we can directly return to our same JSP page okay so let's do that let's put the return statement here else we can return to success.jsp okay so this is the controller level configuration that we need to do to validate the form parameters so we need to use the valid annotation and binding request okay so let's create the JSP file now so we need to create two JSP file one for register and one for success okay so let's do that let's create a JSP as register.jsp okay and create a success.jsp file it should be a JSP file okay so I already have a JSP file so let's check it out okay so let's copy this so I, ha I have already created the JSP file so let's copy this okay so in this JSP file I am using spring framework tag uh, form tag library so th this uh, spring provide this tag library so this have form there are a lot of attributes of this form that we can use like I'm using form dot form and we have form dot errors where we can show the error so so this is so this is the error that we are showing here so we are using validation for both name and password so let's add for both so our model attribute is customer here and this should be customer name okay and this should be customer name okay so we have customer name as a field name okay it is username so we need to give username here okay so this code should be in the register.jsp okay so let's move it here so this is username and this is username also and this is password so this field name should, should match the name of our customer class okay and this should be register okay so good to go so we have created the JSP file we have created the controller as well so now we can test it on server 
okay so let's do that let's run this project into tomcat server okay run as con finish okay the application is started so we can test the our controller so the url is register okay so let's check it out okay so if we are getting the form so now if, if we if we don't enter any value to this field and just hit submit button so let's check out our validations are working or not yeah those are working so username size not less than 2 and password size not less than 2 so if we give just one size one character so let's click on submit yeah it is working so let's give two values yeah so our minimum validation is working perfectly so we can check the max now so to check the max we just need to give max so let's give 5 so we want that this these two fields should have a maximum character 5 not more than that so let's test it okay so okay let's hit the register url again okay the server is starting okay the page is came now so if we just click submit without entering any value so yeah it is saying success because we need to if we give more than five value then and then it will be uh, the failure because only the max value will be five or empty so now it is empty so if we give six values to this form and this field like one two three four five six in same way for password also yeah now because username have more than five characters so that's why it is giving the error message from the controller so in this way we can check the form field for the max and minimum value using the size annotation so that's all for this video in my next video i will cover all other different validations of the spring mbc so thanks for watching see you in next video bye bye